It's not often you see the Pope sitting next to Italy's Prime Minister Giorgio Meloni as they share the same stage to discuss measures to increase Italy's birth rate. The occasion was a two-day meeting that brought together experts and policymakers. Italy has had some of the lowest birth rates in the EU and the country is ageing at a much faster rate than other European countries. The issue is among the priorities of Giorgio Meloni's political programme, but the man behind the event told us Italy's birth crisis is a national emergency and a cross-party issue. We are convinced that on this thing we are not a majority of opposition, we are all convinced. Nel senso che il mondo delle banche, il mondo delle imprese, il mondo dei media, il mondo dello spettacolo, ma anche tutti i partiti politici, perché cambiano i governi, ma poi questo tema rimane. Quindi l'obiettivo nostro, e un po' queste giornate lo stanno ad indicare, è quello di fare una grande nazionale dove tutti quanti collaborano e danno il loro contributo. Figures are not encouraging. In 2022, births dropped to a new historic low, below 400,000, with the country recording more than 12 deaths for every seven births. Meloni's right-wing government created the Ministry for Families and Birth Rate. Cutting sales taxes on baby care products and raising child benefits are some of the proposals the new cabinet included in its 2023 budget. Experts warn that in order to reverse the trend, the goal is to reach 500,000 newborns every year by the end of 2033. E su questo ci siamo confrontati tra forze politiche tutte che si sono dette concordi a operare in maniera sinergica, noi ne siamo contenti, noi siamo al governo solo da sei mesi, in questi sei mesi abbiamo non solo confermato tutti gli interventi eh, che potevano favorire un welfare eh, migliore per garantire un incremento demografico, ma abbiamo anche implementato le cifre a questo destinate e per Fratelli Italia è sempre stata una priorità. A shrinking working age population, which means that it will be hard to get employees but also problems to sustain both the pension and the health systems are some of the consequences of Italy's demographic crisis. In their speeches, both Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni and Pope Francis insisted on the fact that crises are necessary to turn challenges into opportunities. Giorgia Orlandi for Euronews in Rome.